Oh, hey guys. Hey. Oh, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Pow, pow, pow. Pew, pew, pew. Finger pistols. Like, pew, pew. No, I'm not doing it. No, don't. Yeah. Don't. Not doing it. <laughs> I have a real gun. Um, guys. I live in Texas. Uh, just, uh, hey, 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 hey. Let's keep the pistols in our holsters, boys. Let's keep the pistols in the holsters, okay? Simmer down now. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Uh, welcome, everybody, uh, to Moment by Moment, where we live in the moment while discussing the moments of Top Shot, uh, moment by moment, as it were. Uh, I am here with my two lovely uh, cohorts, Mr. Three Ball 34, Mr. King Brett. The three best friends that anybody could have are here. How are you doing today, guys? Doing good, yeah. doing good. Thank you, Torque. I'm doing great. Thanks, yes, for sir. Asking. It's a fantastic day. The sun's out, the birds are chirping. And we're covering basketball, baby. I love it. And we're in the moment. In the moment. With moments that we own. <laughs> this set is so uh, fire, dude. What what tell us about it, King Brett? Well, it's not called fire, but it could be called explosion. Um, but dude, video game numbers childhood and real life these dudes are putting up 50 60 points they're having i can't it's hard to describe you have to watch these if you haven't watched video game numbers or if you're listening to this and you haven't watched these moments you got to check it out we got dudes like james harden on the 76ers going up against the clippers team he's being traded to whoa no way foreshadowing oh my gosh check it out Putting up insane numbers. We have Kevin Durant on the Nets what? going up against the Magic, who did not play so magically. We got Luca. What? Luca! Luca! I, I, mean, I, I, I kind of like. He's pretty awesome. Uh, playing for the Mavs, going up against the Nets. We got some great teams, some great players putting up insane points, crazy passes, crazy dishes, crazy slams. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Shoes, crazy shoes. Hopefully, I love your There's excitement. Be some of the most beautiful shoes in the history of shoes being beautiful. I'm pretty sure. Pieces of flair, if you will. We have uh, things that we were talking about every episode, and every time we watched moments, things were coming up, and so we wanted to organize those into some categories. And I love that you guys brought that up. We started it last episode, and uh, in this episode, we're going to continue it. We got uh, uh, to celebrate the colorful shoes and loud accessories people are wearing we do have the office space pieces of flair award uh thank you for that reference tort uh looking for the coolest shoes or accessories then we have the Step Brothers. did we just become best friends award uh looking for teammates that are showing love to their other teammates whether they're on the bed, whether they're on the, bench the, or on the floor i'm uh, just excited about the place what'd you say king brett so did you touch my jump set and then Tork said <laughs> Hey, man, John Bonham's playing Moby Dick for real. I'm just saying. You want to go do karate in my garage? Sick yeah. reference, bro. Uh, then we're going to get real serious for a minute uh, because in The Revenant, Leo DiCaprio had to eat a real bison liver just to win the uh, his first Oscar. Now, that is a tough bucket. We're going to look at the toughest bucket we can see in these three moments we're watching today. Fun fact, he may or may not have puked in a bucket afterwards uh, on set, but uh, that's how committed he is to his uh, craft. Okay, he, you know how he said fact in may or may not. It's like it's a fact, but it could have or could have not happened. He is a practicing vegetarian, that. and then to eat a bison liver on film is just nuts uh, and had to do that just to get his, his first bucket. So congrats to Leo, and we'll see which player we choose uh, in what moment. Then last but not least, we have the Jesse Pinkman uh, letting Walter White cook. A little Breaking Bad reference. Uh, we're looking for the best assist award uh, of the moments that we're watching today. So very excited about those four and, and going to break them down. You guys ready to get into the moments? I am. Yes. Uh, speaking of assists, I think this uh, is it James Harden on tap because they're, uh, we got a lot of assists to choose from in this one, don't we? We it do. Uh, he went oh. nuts, uh, matching a 76ers record. How many assists did he get there, Torque? 21, I think. Uh, Mr. I am the system. Insane. Uh, I feel like I want to do that with like a Sylvester Stallone from like Judge Dredd, I am the law voice, but I don't think it'll work. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. But no, he is the system. He doesn't need a system. Um, say what you want about James Harden. My humble opinion is that I don't think 
that if you're you can dispute that he is one of the top players of all time with the ball in his hands like he is just that good on the ball I mean amongst his peers they will tell you the exact same don't know if he's the best teammate ever uh but as far as in like basketball savant talent he he is that dude uh he is that dude for sure Fun fact, his beard may or may not be one of the top 10 all-time scorers in NBA history. <laughs> you guys right killing me with the, the numbers are there, not. It adds uh, up. I saw this guy in college at Arizona State and just – I was impressed but Whoa. never thought we'd see what we're seeing. Um, what he came out and did for Oklahoma City, um, and, and uh, now we're seeing it from different teams with the Nets and the 76ers. Baggage aside, as you mentioned – just with the ball, his step backs, his footwork, uh, he can flat pass, he can score from everywhere. Um, he, he's kind of changed the game as for we're getting a layup or a three. Like he, uh, he doesn't care about the mid range at all. He's getting all the way to the rim, and if they stop him, we'll kick it and find a, a cutter or a shooter. And then he loves that step back. Um, a lot of yeah, flopping, a lot of a lot of head uh, throwing back, but uh, everybody's doing that these days. So I, I don't want to just free throw version. Yeah. Thank you, Genovi, for starting the flop. He, yeah, I mean, you got to keep him off, you, I guess. Uh, but you know, I, you know, in this particular reel, it's got look at that oh, outlet ass. pass. That's filthy. over the top. Oh, that's nice. Let's note that. Let's note that. Was that hard into uh, Tobias Harris? I think. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, in nice stride game. where the guy doesn't have to dribble he just catches it and, and lays it in in traffic that was nice makes it look simple makes he's it look James simple Harden is over two defenders changer. bottom line like he's he can go to any team and he's going to make a drastic difference like he's he's one of those players you're saying drastic difference good or bad there king brett <laughs> yeah yeah i left it open-ended because half our viewers would view that one way versus the other and he may or may that. not he may or may not make a drastic difference. It's a he's fact. Like, he's like one of those guys that we've talked about before. You can't dispute the numbers that he puts up. That's why he's in a video game numbers. But he's one of the guys you either love him or you hate him. There's no real in between. Like, oh, I kind of like him. He's okay. It's like you either you you like the dude, like his yeah. basketball. You don't care about off the court, or you know you just dislike him no matter how good he plays. Most superstars are, are on that level of that they just create a love or hate relationship. You're either all in or or all against. You're not necessarily in the middle, um, riding the fence there. He's just an incredible so, talent. Look at that does stuff. That mean you, based on what you just said, you would consider him a superstar? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, he's he's superstar. I mean, but he's he's a he's a what what's the saying? He's a He's a myth wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a conundrum or an enigma or something like that. He's just the there dude's keywords again. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I'd feel about him on my team, but I think if, if I could just separate the baggage, because you got it when you talk about James Harden, unfortunately, there's baggage. But if you could separate that and just pure basketball ability, um, top ten player in the league, dude, top dude, five player in the league, for sure, for sure. Um, Thinking already for uh, a celebration and a, and a teammate uh, award here at the end of the moment, Embiid gives him um, a, a great hug. You know, great game, buddy. The guy put up 20, 11, and 21, setting the uh, 76ers uh, franchise record for assists, as we mentioned. But the reason I bring up the uh, Selly, it's not that great of a hug and not that um, – Big of a deal, but then you see two future teammates, Kawhi Leonard and yep. Paul George, come up with a more, um, hey, what's up, man? Uh, a nice, just excited. let me put my paws on you. Like they're excited to, to get him in there, trying to uh, uh, bring him on over to LA, you know? Yeah. Coast they're all Southern California dudes. I mean, like it's, uh, it makes sense. Uh, it's funny that we notice these things in hindsight, like body language wise. Right here. Uh, yeah, right here that's. Harden's almost wow. like, dude, what are you doing getting in my way? I'm trying to talk to the crowd. He's like, hey, man. Dude, Paul, he even touched his hair. You don't touch people's hair. Oh, head right? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be messing up my braids. Oh, I got yeah. cornrows under here. He just played a whole game. They didn't even move once. They're tight, man. Sheesh. That, that hurts. Very nice. Good first start, man. James Harden uh, for the 76ers playing against my kind of 2020 uh, game. Three, well. My kind of 2020 game. 20 assists, not 20 yeah. rebounds, 20 points, 20 assists. That's crazy, man. Push the basket. So check out KD. Uh, speaking of uh, playing yeah. for the Nets uh, in this moment, Wimby look like. 
He put a pretty good all-around game, but of course he is a walking bucket. Guy got 45. and He is so tall. He's so tall. They put him uh, in the pictures next to Wemby. And, I mean, the guy's a legit seven-footer, and he looks like a little kid still. It's so funny. Durantula. Where did he go to school, three ball? Uh, Durantula. I wish that he would embrace that uh, name. You know that I know where he went, uh, Mr. Longhorn. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think you know. Oh, okay. You do know. I love the hoodie. You love the hoodie. Yep. <laughs> Get out of here. Or the Slim Reaper. Is that the one he embraces? I think he's okay with that one. For some reason, he doesn't like the tarantula. There's Joe Harris and some yellow kicks. Getting a... Yeah, I like oh, that. Joe Harris, yeah. Who's got those orange ones on for uh... – Is that Paolo? For the magic? Might be. Number five. Um... Look at him take this ball. Ooh. Where are you going? Take... Oh, <laughs> dude ran off the court. Uh. Excuse me, Franz. Oh, Franz. The Franz didn't want any part of that. He olayed him on purpose. That's smart. Olay. Get, out Durant, get that out of here. Defense. Durant's got some that. pretty cool kicks on. Those look kind of like purple and uh, maybe a little orange. Yeah, yeah. that's Paolo with yeah, the orange Paolo kicks. Sure. Paolo got to learn how to close out better. Hero. Dude. Yeah, I got, I got uh, 45, 7, 5, 2, and 2. Just and- – Stupid shooting too, right? I think he shot like seventy five percent almost. Or no, I don't think it was like that, but it was like Yeah, it, it feels it like, like it sometimes, especially like from fifteen feet. He just he knocks um, them all down. That's a great pass. It's such a compact robot like motion that's just efficient and it and it man. And you also watch him when he doesn't square up at when he jumps, but he's fantastic at squaring up while in midair. Uh I'll watch him play basketball all day long. I love Kevin. Very Durant. similar to Kevin. Dirk in the mid range, and that once he faces up, it's unfair because of his reach and what he can do with that step back and fade away. You can't get to the shot. He's too long. His wingspan's too big. Yeah, he covers the distance so fast. Yep. Oh, man. That's dirty. That's so dirty. I was just, he's like, where did he go? Welcome to the NBA, buddy. Where did who go? Who Powell's go? How is going to be all right? Oh, man. Great. So Joe Harris kicks. Those were the winner. Joe Boy, Harris definitely man. stood out uh, with a great pass know, there. But, but, yeah. But I don't know. Low key, Durant's, Durant's shoes were pretty tight. That kind of soft purple and the. I agree. I don't know what they were, but they kind of reminded me of a throwback to a little Kobe shoe there. They definitely stood out. They didn't look basic to me, uh, but they were understated. You didn't notice them yeah. until after a, a couple of views. Like the yellow ones. ones were just crying out, saying, "Look at me!" <laughs> just Hard like that. notice them. That's in my voice, in my head. That's how the yellow shoes would talk. Boys, with the three of us here, I wanted uh, us to have enough time to let this moment breathe. Let's watch this Luca moment together. I don't know how many times we're going to get through it, but let's check it out. Over under fifty. <laughs> Yeah, count count how many times we watch this Dallas Mavericks. Shout out! This, Shout out! This is uh this is one of my favorite stat lines in a moment uh on Top Shot because forty one points, eleven boards, fourteen assists, and if you combine all those together, not add them up, but put them together, oh. they are a palindrome number, a drome. And Shout out Rich DMC. Yeah, Shout out and for ambassador it. and uh and chairman on the High Council of Dromes. But uh, just a little fun tidbit for you. Love Rich DMC. Don't count yourself short, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, you love those palindromes as well. I do love me some drones, yeah, man. Twerk. Love them. Jeez. You know what I love better than drones? Dallas Luka? Mavericks basketball. Uh, man, me too. Uh, Denwitty got pretty hype right there. Uh, he just went behind the back to himself. To go, like, what's happening here? You saw that, dude? It's stupid. It's literally like, like a video something. game move. Like, R2, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you do something cool. Hold on, bro. That might be the code for Contra. Oh, sorry. That's – No, it's all right. I'm just... No, but it's like – It's like, 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 right. like, it's like, it's like whatever button is for spin move, that's what he's hitting, and he's and it's just – Yeah. Right. It, yeah. Oh. Every night he does something that – I That one. Yeah, oh, that's the one. Whoop. 
That's the one. Dude, get out of here with that pass. Over yeah, that has to be. back, over the head, over a defender. This one too, though. Like that's, the that, look off too. That's a no Dude, look. I'd lo- Man, talk about everyone on this team's got shoes. Yeah. I'm just saying. Point some out. What do you got there? Reggie Bullock got some purple Dude, ones there. Got some, but even Luca's got those beautiful kind of uh, I don't even know what color blue, blue you call it, but it's the white and the blue with the strap. I think he's got, got a little yellow in there. Yeah. Yellow. Like, he's That's got fast. four That's passes cool. in this clip that could easily be our best assist of the, of the That's episode. Absolutely. That side out of bounds good. pass right there is sneaky good. I oh, mean, with yeah. the guy, uh. that last pass that was on there. Uh huh. From the. Uh, side out of bounds. That's real nice. Mm-hmm. Step back. Oh, Trey. Bucket, Is there anybody? That one right there, though. Like, whoop. Ben Maybe Simmons right use. there has some pretty sweet purple ones on. Yeah. See him right there in the, in the lane. Being a pylon on defense. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> if you don't watch football, those are the yellow cones that sit on the end zone and just stand there. That's a yes. sick <laughs> reference by Torque. Yeah, that's <laughs> that. Fun They're fact, not even as good as may not be a sick reference by Torque. Those uh, those things outside, like the car dealerships, where they inflate them and they all do like this. Those are much better than pylons. He can't even do that. Oh my! Anyway, this is this is not a Ben Simmons slander. Uh, There's yeah. that pass right there. Great hold off and a finish. Sad to lose yeah. uh, Dorian Finney-Smith and Dinwiddie to the Nets, yeah. uh, and that they went uh, out there. But those are two good teammates. Always love them. I'm going to let this go. play one more time, and let's start thinking about our uh, four uh, awards here. Um, I don't want to get too biased uh, on the, the Luca moment because I think oh, we could man. easily put all four awards in this one. Um, man, I can't wait for Maxi to get back healthy. I know he's dealing with that toe. Uh, needs to get in there and help Derek Lively in the middle. Yeah. Shout out, young blood. Sick finish, Luca. Yep, contorting his body See, the opposite direction. Of defense. Fun to watch. Say you were watching this game and you had to pick one play to put in the moment, like that would be impossible. So they had to be so the curation team had to be so happy to get this set because now they're oh. like, we can put all of these plays in there. But rightfully so, it deserves this. You know what I mean? Correct. You can't tell the story without all of these put together. Man. You get 41, 11, and 14. Uh, I see your numerology over there. And why does the 41, why does that excite you for the points, uh, Torque? What does that stand for? Oh, that's that's uh, that's the Legends uh, jersey number right there. Mr. Maverick himself, Dirk Nowitzki. Shout out, Mr. Dirk. Yes, sir. Ooh. Old Dirk. Love, love 41. Um, three sick moments today, fellas. Those were awesome. Yeah. The uh, four categories, four awards of the moments we just watched. Let's break them down and talk a little bit about them. The Office Space Pieces of Flair Award for having the coolest shoes or accessories. What do you guys got? Paolo. Hush. I'm going Paolo. They were the brightest ones. And he was on screen a few times uh, trying to guard Durant. I like it. What do you got, Brett? He. I mean, look, if we're talking about standing out, and we don't care offense or defensive. You know I'm a diehard Mavs guy. I want to pick someone on the Mavs. But I'll agree. Paolo had the bright shoes. Every time he was in a shot, you knew he was in a shot. They were they were just – they're they're calling my name. That's a shoe that I would wear. Just – I mean I, – I agree. I think uh, the – Joe Harris, those off yellow, uh, because you wanted to try to pick somebody on offense. But it's nothing really spectacular, yeah. and they're not that bright. Uh, right. The purple by Reggie Bullock were cool, but Paolo, Paolo's stood out by far. Those orange ones jumped out at me on the screen, and you get to see him a few times, uh, and he gets worked by Durant. So I think we agree. Uh, Bancaro gets the shoe award. Uh, pieces of flair. Uh, category two, the Step Brothers. Did we just become best friends? Uh, award for being a great teammate. Uh, court celebration or bench reactions. What do you guys think? Mm. I'm going Dauphin at the end, the very end of the Luca moment. It's just, just you got me all sentimental about uh, Dinwiddie and, and Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, yeah. specifically Dauphin, because he was just kind of the heart and soul of a very poor defensive team, and he was the guy that was kind of 
commanding that thing for a while there, but uh, I was sad to see him go, but nice to see him kind of immortalized at the end of that moment, showing his respect to Luca. Uh, Cause they seem to get along really well. So I'll, I'll, I go with Dauphin. For sure. King Brett. Dude, I mean, we talked about like the Harden earlier. He got more response from uh, the Clippers team and uh, more excitement from them about his game than his own team, the 76ers. Uh, Durant didn't get a ton of love for doing what he did uh, in the moment, at least. So I'm going to agree. I got to go with Mavs. Same thing at the end. Just Luka getting some love with the team. I mean, it's, yeah. I've heard that about Durant, that he's pretty dry and that doesn't have a ton of uh, um, uh, love going back and forth uh, there. And you, you can understand that they're probably pretty used to him dropping 40, that that happens a lot. And they put a lot on him with uh, Kyrie not playing much when he was in uh, Brooklyn yeah. and Ben Simmons as a pylon, as uh, Tork mentioned. Uh, the Luca love, I definitely love Dinwiddie getting excited, uh, Dorian. Um uh, I like that, but I, I like the angle of the two um, guys competing with Harden, coming up and hugging. Great game, brother. A little head tap after. Um, yeah. Hey, come out to L.A. We'll take care of you. And the yeah. foreshadowing of him going out there. I'm going to take a little uh, ride. Nice. Very, right. very amazing tidbit that you point out right there. Uh, yeah. you never would have noticed that. Bribes do happen in uh, NBA, folks. I've heard at the um, the handshake lines, and you hear old heads talk all the time of like, don't go over there and say, you know, and hug them and have smiles and stuff. Like you're in a war, you know, you're fighting and stuff. But these guys are moving teams so much now. Like yeah. they know each other. They vacation together. They live in similar areas a lot of times. Uh, they're buddies. Um, and that so can I, be I before or during the game. But once the game's over, like the battle is over. Like Agreed. you won or you lost. Now we're just boys kicking it. Agreed. And that's the way I was taught as well uh, on how to handle things. Uh, you fight while you're in the game. And then once it's over, it's over. And you move yeah. on and tell everybody good game. Uh, yeah. Be a good sport. So I, I like the way that, that it is. But I can see how you get nervous when you see things like that happen after the game. And you're like, don't go hug the L.A. guys. Don't. No, 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 no. We got, you got to stay here. <laughs> yeah. Um, Leo DiCaprio uh, had to eat a real bison liver uh, to, to, to finally win uh, the Oscar, uh, the toughest bucket award. What did you guys see in these three moments? There's a couple. Um, I, I think I, I still think that cross court pass, or, you know, from Harden all the way out to the guy, because he, he threw it over two guys and he had to finish in traffic as well to Tobias Harris. I think that was a pretty yeah. tough bucket. Um, other than that, it was really just a lot of Luca just giving his teammates like wide open layups. So nothing terribly tough other than having to stand there. But, uh, yeah, I'd go with that, uh, that, uh, hard to Tobias Harris moment or play for sure. For the toughest bucket. I like that. What do you got King Brett? Man. I mean, I'm thinking about the assist versus bucket because like, I'm liking Luca's, you know, no look over the top behind the back pass to you know, the cutter coming in to finish. But, I mean, when you watch the James Harden, literally inbound, he gets the ball, and it's full on everything he's got, launching this ball almost the whole entire court. Like you said, over two dudes and putting – it's like a quarterback in basketball, but with two hands. Like, imagine an NFL quarterback having to throw the ball with two hands. They wouldn't be able to throw it as far. I, I liked that moment a, a lot. Uh, I think that it is a very tough pass. Uh, as from the bucket awesome. side of things, I think that's a great point by Torque that he didn't just catch it in stride and then get a wide open finish, that he caught it and there's defenders there that he had to finish through, uh, which I think gets it to qualify for the, the toughest bucket award uh, also. Uh, but it could have easily fit for our uh, next category for uh, assist as well. But I think we all know what's going to win that one, uh, as Brett uh, alluded to. I want to give a uh, another um Alternate, Kevin Durant uh, had uh, Bank Arrow on him, as we pointed out with the the pieces of flair showing up with the shoes, uh, yeah. trying to guard him and get in his chili several times in the mid-range, and it didn't even affect KD. He's just jab-stepping and hitting jumpers. I thought he had two nice mid-range ones right there on top of him. Um, and so I, I think those were both uh, really tough buckets with a tough defender. So I, I might put Durant in there, but lo love the James Harden and, and willing to submit to that one. Did you uh did you just say yeah, you're trying to guard him and get in his chili? Chili. 
is I did. I did. Really, yeah. He's probably worked on that for quite a while. Yeah, it depends on if you're from Texas or not. We don't need to get in a fight on if beans go in chili. We don't need to start any kind of argument here. It's a C and C. We're collecting and connecting. So uh, <laughs> I digress. The Jesse Pinkman yeah, Award for letting on. Walter White cook uh, for the greatest assist in the moment. I think we don't even need to vote that Luca throwing it behind his head to Maxi Kleba. They showed it twice in that moment. We could start it again. Watch. That moment is so sick. That's one that when we saw it happen live in the game, it was – NBA top shot this. That's yeah. a moment right there. You put that yeah. in something and I'm getting it. Am I yeah. wrong? Because I like the 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 no look when he jumps up in the air and then kind of like looks off he to the corner the, and throws it to Tim Hardaway. Who you're, then not, you're, the not you're not wrong. Uh, that's yeah. classic Luca. And he's doing that. He's hiking the leg up and, and no look. I love it. I'm with yeah. you too. And that's why the, his moment, literally two or three of them could be the choice for this award. Yeah, I wrote down overhead assist to Maxi, and then immediately wrote two more just for the yeah. assist award, all from the Luca uh, moment. Yeah, well, thank um, God he did it all in one game when he put up video game numbers, so we could all have them all in like one reel and a place right. to watch it. So, BGN, man. and that's what's fun about a lot of these players. And you've talked about it before, both of you, that we don't envy the job of the curation team because yeah, these guys are superstars. They all are, and on a nightly basis, they could put these numbers up again or better. And uh, that's got to be tough to handpick and find those games. Um, but all three of these moments were spectacular by by great players, and uh, that, those were fun yeah. to watch. Uh, dare I ask your favorite moment? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, we voted on assists. Your favorite moment for all three? Which one? I mean, how about we all say it on three this time? We're going to pick all three again. One, two, three. Luca, Luca baby. Luca. Don't you? Right. Luca, geez, hands down. Not just because I'm a Mavs fan, but that there's some special special plays in that, uh, in that reel. If y'all weren't collecting this set, if you weren't set collectors of VGN, you'd be going to go get that moment uh, just because it's your boy, it's your team, and it's incredible to watch. Um but I would feel that way if I was a Sixers fan, a Nets fan, or right. just a Harden or Durant fan, and I wanted yeah. one of those because they're just sick moments, dude, every one of these. Yeah, that's why video game numbers, it, You're oh, if you're out there and you're only collecting your team, it makes sense to still have the video game numbers of your team in your collection because it's going to be one of the best representative of, of plays of your team, of that top player uh, of the season for sure. It makes a lot of sense. If you want to uh, talk more basketball, I like this and uh, interact with other fans and other communities. We got a positive vibes community where we all met and are hanging out. It's called uh, Collecting and Connecting, and we uh, release content every week as well as we have private chats that we talk on Discord and on Twitter. Um, please join us at Collecting and Connecting dot com. I love Thank to have you, you guys in there. Shout out to the group. Shout out! Shout out to the fam. Yes, sir. Shout out to everybody collecting to connect and let's see uh see how many I can name. Oh my god, too many. Elvish Piper, uh Glenn, Top Shot Yoda, Three Ball, King Brett. That's all I got. I don't know. Mr. Damn, Kick. Not I'm, just I'm, I'm just there's too many to name. Chewy sitting there, he's like, I knew he wasn't gonna name me. I knew, knew that he <laughs> Chewie gets mentioned oh. every episode. Of episodes. We love that would Chewie. be a we fun game sometimes. Yeah, Chewie's getting too many mentions. That would be a fun game sometimes <laughs> to alternate all three yeah. and just yeah. uh, everybody's got to say one and then wait until the, <laughs> we go oh around. Oh, my the gosh. Done. I'm all for it. I am all for so it. so much fun. But, no, I mean, like, it, it makes the collecting experience much more enjoyable. I mean, like, it's it, – I, I, it, it would be a little weird if I was just sitting watching these moments by myself. Let me just say that. But, uh, you know, not that I wouldn't enjoy that. All but still, myself. you know, like – it's 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 the community that we build. It's 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 why we watch basketball. It's why we go to games together. It's why we watch games together. It's all of that combined. And thank goodness we have these little time capsules of amazingness. Thank you, curation team, like video yeah. game numbers to remind us of what happens uh, when superstar players do superstar things. Dude, Love it. That sums it up pretty well, right there. Right? Yeah, I I can't say anything else uh, uh, to wrap that up in a bow. That's a fantastic torque, uh, just like this episode was. Thirty two of moment by moment. We're six out of seven of video game numbers, which means we have one episode left. Fam. One. You're not first. 
Wait. Wait. Last. We're going to uh, cover the last Wait. two moments and don't miss that one. It's going to be exciting. See you guys next time. Peace, Peace out, guys. Yes, sir. Lower, fly lower.